In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the page footer tool. Now, if you've watched the page header tool video, this is a simple follow up to that because in this particular demonstration, I created a header, which you can see up here. And now we're going to create a footer using a similar tool uh, called the page footer tool. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my canvas. In fact, I'm going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing down here. And I'm going to use this tool right here called page footer. It's very similar to page header, only it does just as you would imagine, it creates a footer. So I'm going to click on this, draw a box again, anywhere I want, doesn't matter uh, where I place it. What it's going to do is it's just going to snap right to the bottom of my page. Now you may be wondering, why did it decide to land right there, right on top of this thing? I don't want it to cover that up. Why is it doing that? The reason it's doing that is because it knows it's a footer. And so it's always going to live at the bottom of the page. And the bottom of this page is determined right here. If you can see that my ruler ends right there. So this is technically the bottom of my page, no matter what the content is doing. This is the bottom of my page. Now I can change this very easily. You can see that when I hover my mouse over this ruler, I can, I get a different icon and I can drag this. I can drag the bottom of my page down or stretch it is what I'm really doing. Another thing I can do is I can right click on the canvas go to page properties and determine the bottom of my page by pixels. Right now it's set at 2309. That's what we were looking at. If I said, oh, let's make the bottom of my page be 2500, for example, click OK. Watch what happens to the footer. Well, it went all the way down to 2500. And so now that's the bottom of my page. So whatever the bottom of my page is, the footer is going to snap right to it. I can, just like with a header, control the height of this footer so I can stretch it like this. So I'll bring this up a little bit taller. And let's put some content in here just to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to put an image in there. I'll put some text next to that. And I even have a, a simple text menu that I made that I'll put down here. And again, the footer is just technically a layer that's going to sit at the bottom of the page, just like the header was. Let's move these things around and tighten them up a little bit. Looks a little better that way. Okay, and again, we would double click to bring up the attributes of the page footer. We're using the default mode, the alignments left. I like center, so I'm going to do that. I am not going to synchronize animation with the page header because my page header currently doesn't have any animation, so this won't really matter. But I'm going to click OK. F5 to preview it. And because my camera's down low, let me bring the browser down here so you can see what's happening. So we're looking at a website that I'll scroll down to the footer. And you can see there's my footer doing just what we thought it would do, centered and filling the page. So now let's close this and make some changes. I'm going to double click on the footer and let's use a different mode. Let's try that fixed effect like we did in the header video, and you'll see what that does. Very simple change. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click F5. And we're going to see what happens now with a fixed mode. You'll see the footer's already there. Well, why is it right there? Because it's fixed. No matter what we do to scroll the page, that footer's going to stay fixed right at the bottom no matter what. So you can see the kind of effects that you could do with a fixed footer. It's actually a very popular feature these days in web design and very easy to do a 90 second website builder. So the other thing we could do is we could use the animation feature, which we call full screen. As soon as we select full screen, I can choose the kind of animation I'm going to want. So let's make this be one second. These are milliseconds here. So we'll make that be one second. And let's animate this with, say, a fade so that when my mouse hovers over the footer, it will fade into place. So I'm going to click OK, do another F5 to preview my work. Here I've opened up the browser. And now you'll see, let's see, we'll go to the very bottom here. As we move our mouse into place and out of place, the footer appears or disappears accordingly. And this is what we call a full screen footer. Again, we could do that with the header as well, and we can synchronize them, but in this case, for demonstration purposes, I'll just leave that alone. It's that simple. Just You can play with this footer tool and do whatever you want with it and create really a nice-looking footers for 
your bottom navigation or whatever you want to put at the bottom of your page. Again, the styling is available for you as usual. I happen to be using a solid white color for the background, but I don't have to. I could have put an image in here, gradient, etc. Everything else that you expect to put into the style you can, and all of the other features as usual are available. So that's how you use the page footer tool to make really cool footers for your websites in 90 Second Website Builder.